All right, guys, welcome back some more of Sly Cooper 2. So we're, well, I do a little bit of Bentley here. So we uh, kind of uh, recorded a little bit yesterday, but what actually happened was um, because we're playing this, hold on, I'll tell you in a bit. To be disabled. I won't lie to you, Murray. This is going to be a tough job that requires both our skills. My skills? Okay, Bentley, if you say so. First, I'll need to hack the station's controlling access to the engine room. Then, Murray, you'll need to head inside and use your muscle to finish the job. So, Murray will be ready to go. Yeah, so what I, I was saying was like I missed Okay, we we messed up here. So Yeah, what I what I meant was that I started some but because of the streaming Yeah, so due to the streaming, we couldn't actually get all of this done. So we did a few of the... Uh, we end up completing a few of these things. So, yeah. We had like four of them in total, I think, engine rooms. So we did three of them. We <laughs> end up taking those guys out. Oh, okay. So we have three to do. So one is all the way up there. We'll go up then. Okay, we have to... I
Oh shit, this is gonna be a friggin... There you go. Oh, we might get this done in the first try then. Do it, let's do it. to go I think I, I still gotta go this way bloody hell It's going to be up there and we just shift. Yeah, that's the way. Could have gone there first, but... But for some reason at the time, we didn't look this way. What? Okay, this is gonna be... It's gonna be complicated a little bit, eh? Because they just keep coming. The you just have to be aggressive a little bit. Hey pal, 
looks like you'll need to lift all those giant cylinders. Once they're locked in the up position, you'll be able to take them out from the top level. Lift all of them? Holy shit. Heads up, pal. You've got company. I think every one we do, it brings one enemy. So maybe we should just do it and then take them out. Maybe it doesn't matter to be honest. We can do this one. Nice work. Head up to the second level and thunder flop on the giant cylinders. That should finish them off. Thunder flop? second what's this thunder flop Probably the easiest one here. Oh. Perfect. Now head into the control booth and pull the plug on this thing. Everyone took turns going into one of these. Oh, this is probably the end now. In an unexpected windfall, I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Plakla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces with us so that we can destroy the robotic bird. The only catch is that she's unable to locate this blimp on her radar. To help her hone in on our position, we'll need to boost the strength of four local radio towers. Once Inspector Fox is in range, she'll take one of us on board to act as a tail gunner in a dogfight against Klockla. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris, and if that hate hypnosis light show goes off, well, you know the story. Seems fair enough. Um, who are we gonna play as? Bentley. Okay, Sly. We need to send Carmelita a radio pulse so she can home in on the blimp. To do that, I'll need you to get on top of four very tall towers. They are too big to climb and too tall to jump up normally. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll 
you'll perform a huge jump, so be careful. All right, sounds like fun. Gonna be too big of an issue then. Where's the first one? Right over there. R2 Pretty straightforward, eh? here same thing as the first one then we are going to go up here Oh. Uh, we can probably redo this after.
That's not flirty chit chat. <laughs> Some big ass missiles. Keep it up. Keep at it. We're winning. Are we? At least we've done that. Took me a long time to do. I'm coming, guys. Hold on. Come on, buddy. We're coming. Okay. I'm scared, Sly. Hurry. I think we're going the right way. Backstabbing coward, we beaten time and time again. This won't be any different. <laughs> be brave while you can, Cooper. I might not have been with Alan Rock, but I feel some, some power growing within me. Oh, 
Oh! Oh my dude. Oh, maybe we gotta go on this side here? Alright! Tick tock. Oh, don't worry, we beat her already. We... We did it! Right on! It's an emotional moment. <laughs> Watch out, that thing's still kicking. Oh, never mind. Akla mentioned something about a hate chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. I'll pry open that beak so that Bentley can go to town with his bombs. I'm for you, my boy. gang had been defeated and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps yet despite the explosion they remained pristine it was as if nothing could ever hurt them carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on clockla so she took it out on what was close at hand the hate chip and just like that it was over without that core piece that essential center of clockwork there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. Oh. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So, I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. 
The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything. Books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. <laughs> my heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours, a fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! I'll be seeing you soon, Green Tail. <laughs> oh, man. So this looks like it's the end. It's the end, man. I wonder what happened to Bentley. I'm assuming he can no longer, unless he gets a surgery or something, but it looks like he can no longer walk. Um, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's a quite an interesting uh, series. It's actually really funny. Uh, I like, like, the changes they made to this game compared to the first one. There's a lot of, like, uh, nice new features added, like selecting different abilities. Um, in the last one, we didn't collect all the bottles, but it looks like we still got all the trophies for this, so we can't complain, right? But, yeah. Anyways, it's been uh, pretty good. Um, I don't know if there's going to be anything after the post credit scenes i mean i might just sit through it and see but yeah it looks like uh, eventually we're gonna start the uh, sly cooper 3 then oh he left the bottle <laughs> it's like kind of showing something i wonder what uh, sly 3 is gonna be out but it looks like the clockwork stuff is gone now so continues our search for Perfect. All right. Yeah, guys, what we're going to do is uh, we're finally going to end this one off here. Uh, thank you guys for all your support. And uh, you know what? See you guys in the next one.